I'm back making another silly little video for the internet. This past weekend I went to what's considered the oldest state fair in the United States and did a couple other things outside of that. So I thought I'd make a little video showing you a couple of the photos I got with, uh, with the X106 this weekend and what I got up to. So. so yeah, oldest state fair in the United States. I grew up as a kid going to this fair and into my teenage years running around with friends in what seemed to be an endless carnival of games and rides. As I've gotten older though, it's definitely lost a lot of its novelty. It seems to have gotten smaller and smaller over the years, and I'm sure that has something to do with getting older. You know how it is. You go back to a place that you grew up in, and it just, it used to seem so much larger than life when you were a kid, and then when you go back to it as an adult, it just seems tiny in comparison. But when it comes to this fair, I think it also has to do in part to less funding due to less attendees over the years. I mean, why go to the fair for entertainment when you have an endless stream of entertainment at your fingertips at any given point in time? After years of not attending the fair myself, uh, I decided to go and just take my X106 and see what I could capture. I've still been having a hard time just posting the JPEGs out of this camera. My need for control over the outcome of my work far exceeded my original desire for convenience that I had when making the decision to buy this camera. With that said, I figured I'd show both the JPEGs and the edits I made to the RAW files in this video, just so you guys have a bit of comparison as to what you can expect to get straight out of camera as opposed to editing your own RAW files. I also want to state that I didn't touch these at all. I didn't mess with even the contrast or the shadows or whites or anything like that. Just completely straight out of camera, didn't touch them. And I feel like that's just a better representation of how this camera operates. This was easily the most excited I had been to attend the fair in many years. I feel like I'm always traveling a few hours away just to put myself in environments that I'd prefer to shoot in. Not that I can't shoot decent photos in the small town I live in, but I just desire more energy, if that makes sense. When I find myself in larger cities, I feel energized myself from the activity around me and in turn more inspired to shoot. That was kind of what I was hoping to find at what could be presumed the most attended events my small town has to offer. As I said though, not what it used to be and the Friday I showed up was a bit underwhelming. So I ended up leaving the fair early and found myself at my friend's listening party that he held on a boat to help promote his new album, which I'll leave some links in the description if you wanna go check out their music songs as my friend Spencer would call them. <laughs> The next day, I ended up back at the fair to give it another go, and the energy had shifted for the better compared to the previous day, and I think I got some pretty decent images. I was still seeking the thrill of weaving in and out of a sea of people, but regardless, I tried to make the best of my circumstance. I think it's a little different shooting street photography in smaller populated towns. 
I think it's just it's not something it's not something that people are used to seeing. You go to bigger cities and you always see a handful of people shooting photos, whether they're doing street photography or just being tourists. But in smaller towns, it's just it's it's almost weird seeing somebody with a camera just shooting well, just anything, really. So that's why when there are these events in your hometown, I definitely say take advantage of them because when it's any sort of event that's bringing people together, I feel like people are less likely to question you having a camera in your hand because they're probably just assuming you're documenting the event for something, which also makes it a little more comfortable getting up close or taking photos you might not otherwise feel comfortable taking just out on the street in your hometown. I think the other thing that makes shooting street in smaller towns a little more of a challenge than bigger cities is there's less people and because of that there's less people to there's less people to hide behind when you're running around through a big city in a sea of people shooting away no nope, everybody's too busy nobody's really paying attention to you but when you're walking down a block and there's you and one other person on that block they're not gonna not notice you and they're also definitely not gonna not notice that you have a camera in your hand and they're definitely definitely not gonna not notice that you're taking their photo so keep an eye out for when your small town wherever you live even has these bigger events because it just makes you feel a little more comfortable i think if anything even starting out in street photography events are probably a really good place to start because it just relieves some of the stress of what are these people thinking are they going to get upset because the people that are attending these events if they see you with a camera again they're just going to assume you're documenting the event and they're less likely to feel a certain way or interact with you if that's what you're kind of trying to avoid and it just also it gives you more to work with really That's all I have for this video though. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I'd actually really love to hear some of your feedback in the comments as far as the videos I've been making, what resonates with you the most, what type of content I've made has been your favorite. I'm just trying to get a feel for the people that have been following so far and what it is I've been making that they've enjoyed the most. So. Can we talk about how much I actually hate talking to the camera? <laughs> uh. Anyway, 
appreciate it. See you in the next one.